Guys, in this video, I want to show you how to calculate how much taxes you will be most likely paying towards the end of the year. Remind you, this is an estimate. We can't get an exact number, but the idea is to get close enough so you can have an idea of how much you should be expected to owe for that current tax year. So in this case, I want y'all guys to follow me on QuickBooks so I can kind of show you how to do your own tax projections so you will know how much you will be owing towards the end of the year. So I'm in QuickBooks and this is a dummy account so you can't see any of my client's information, but go to your QuickBooks. On the left-hand side, go to reports, click on reports. You see that I'm here now. You will wanna to go to profit and loss by month. Repeat, you want to go to profit and loss by month. You can see I'm hovering over the side right here. So click on profit and loss by month. And you should do for the current year today. So for this example, I'm just grabbing dummy data. So I'm going to 2021. But in this case, you want to do from the beginning of January to your current year of where you're at now. So whatever year, whatever date that may be. Um, in this case, I'm just going to do 2021 just to pull in numbers, right? This is just a, a demo. So once you run a report, it's going to show you all of the data, what you've been basically recording for, for your profit and loss. You want to export this data. So export to Excel, and it's going to print out an Excel sheet. Let's wait for that to download. And all we're doing is running, or running a projection so you at least know how much taxes you should be expected to pay towards the end of the year. And this is just an estimate. This isn't exact, but the goal is to get close enough. So here's my data for 2021, right? This is old numbers, but let's just remove, let's remove Let's say we're in July now, right? This is July 2023. I'm going to remove all this current all August from December. And then let's just say this is 2023, right? So the year isn't over, obviously. We want to basically take the average equals average. We want to take the average of all your total income, but do equals average, equal average, and then you want to drag across all of your total income from January up to July. That's going to give us an average. That's on average, this business does 110000 a month. Now we need to just project that for the whole 12 months for the year, right? And this is just a hypothetical, this is an estimate. So we'll basically times that by 12, right? So what I did was grab the average of the current data, which I had. I took the average of each month from January to July, and I did the average formula, then I just times that by 12. Right, so let's do it one more time. Equals average, so I can get the average of monthly income that we did, that we received. I spread it across the current data that we have from January to July, and I found out that on average, this business does 110,000 a month. What I'm gonna do is times that by 12, so I can get my annual revenue for the current year annual rev, right? So now that I have my annual rev, I want to do the same for the total expenses, which is line 47, right? So I don't have to type in that formula again. I can control C, copy and paste and place it on the same column of the total expenses. So you can see here, I did, it's, it's the same average formula from the spread of January to July times about 12 months. That gives me an annual revenue, annual expense of 376848 right? 
And then from there, what you're going to do to calculate the net income, and we can remove this data, we can remove the other income, we're not worrying about that. We're going to do the annual revenue minus the annual expense. That gets us 946,000 and some change. Now, in order to get inside the a certain tax bracket, there's different tax bracket. Then, on average, I want you to do. I want you to put this percentage equal. Hover over that number, which is your taxable profit, and just times it by thirty percent. On ballpark, this business should be paying two hundred and eighty-four thousand in taxes. This tax is old. We both it to make it big so we can see. That's how you run a quick projection on how much your business should be projected to owe in tax. Mind you, there's a lot of variables uh, when it comes to what tax bracket I'm in. Uh, am I married, filed jointly? There's a lot of factors, but to keep it simple, just times it by 30% so you can at least get a ballpark of what you should be on when it comes to taxes. Let me know if you have any questions, put some questions in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. But that is how you run a quick tax projection for the year, because the year isn't over. It's currently July 10th, 2023. If I wanted to run a tax projection to see how much I should be owing for the year, I would do what I just showed you on this video. Once again, my name is Christian. Let me know if you have any questions in the chat are in the comment box so we can answer them. Thank you.